Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode one of Utaku Elf. I, I know nothing about this show. <laughs> okay, because see, here's the thing. So, one, I, I like saw, okay, so I saw two, like, well, no, it was the same clip. But I saw, I saw a clip Saturday, and I was like, what the freak is this show? I know nothing about it. Then, of course, I saw, I saw the same one tonight. So Sunday for me, you know. <laughs> California! <laughs> and I was just like, okay, what the heck is this show? Plus, you know, you guys are literally, like, requesting, and, you know, since it's now officially been a week, and when this comes out, of course, um, my last show will be coming out, and so now we're into the situation of, oh, hey, I can kind of maybe take requests, even though I'm currently now so busy as hell and I have other things to do and such. You won't, you don't even imagine all the shit that I have to do. <laughs> but, um, the only thing I now officially know about this, um, and, and it's funny because if you know me, you already know this, you follow me on Twitter. So, one of them is a fucking pretty cure, and the other one is freaking several from Komodo Friends. So, this is gonna be a really good experience. It's like freaking, um, what was that one damn show? Oh my god. Uh, Senko? The Fox Show. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> it's like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, but other than that, I'm gonna get started with episode one in three, two, one. Go. Ma'am, you saw her watch, she's taking her clothes off. No, but no, you're summing her watch, she's changing. Oh my god. We don't hear your call. We're just, you know, mm. uh, all, all I hear is circle. <laughs> she is pretty though. A 621-year-old elf. <laughs> you really need Red Bull now! Only <laughs> one. Mm. No. <laughs> mm.
Burning. Oh, hella introverted, babe. <laughs> <laughs> How did that look good? That that she that's just gonna make me hungry and thirsty. <laughs> and besides, I can't even go anywhere. It's like, well, I can't say the right time. No, can't say that time. Tell me the time. Yeah. She just wants to play it. <laughs> So, you know, just another useless goddess in a nutshell. <laughs> Well, I mean, besides, come on, she's a homebody, so she just wouldn't be bothered. Okay. Uh.
Yeah, I wonder how that's going to go. It's very pretty. Oh, That's been the first time they actually met. You're, see, you're just making me hungry. I ate dinner like several hours ago. Bruh, like, <laughs> I want chocolate. <laughs> Don't say that. Do not say that because you know in the end you're going to regret it. I mean, yes, the bag is gorgeous, but still, like, you know, <laughs> when you get out into the real world and you have to pay your own fucking bills and shit, <laughs> you'd be like, I want to be a kid again. I mean, hey, you know, everyone looks happy when they're eating because it's food. You wonder who introduced her to every single freaking thing for her to be so obsessive. Nice. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's her sister.
Hmm? Uh-huh. Guys. She's sweet. Shine the tweet. Yeah, in a way. <laughs> right? Don't you want to see the good old outdoors, breathe some fresh air, walk around, do something? Uh, I'm thinking it's something really serious, but I mean, yeah, anybody would freak out over the ears. <laughs> Come on. You'll be fine. The fact that she is over here avoiding the conversation and even giving us answers. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> like complete opposite. It's very adorable. Both being selfish. But I get it.
That's a good question. Um. Yeah, and also the way that, you know, she brings herself up. Oh, <laughs> you did. She left the house to just find you. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> That's so sweet, girl. <laughs> Wrong hand, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> yeah. Lazy. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking because I'm like that too. Yeah, she went to go come for you when you were crying. There is another character that I instantly hear when she talks, but we'll talk about that at the end. It's very, it's kind of obvious, but like I said, we'll talk about that. Because when I found out that she voices that character, I'm like, well, that changes everything. Hmm. first thoughts they are super cute together oh my god um one i am i'm as a person who has i, I had red bull like
six, either six or seven. I am, mm, yeah, I was, I was like, what, in middle school at the time? I don't even remember how that itch tastes like. Is it good? I mean, of course it is because they still sell that itch now. But, I mean, you know, because it's a fucking energy drink and shit like that. So, it just, to me, it just tastes like soda and such. But, no, don't drink too much of those. Like, <laughs> and then you're up at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning and you're like, oh, my God, I can't sleep. Mm, mm, mm. But they are cute. Like, I told she's adorable. She's very mature for her age. It's just, it's funny that if you, if you would have told me at the time when I was watching Kimono Friends that, oh, Baby would have been paying like the most cutest <laughs> mature kid. <laughs> I probably would have let you like, serve my, my, my child, my daughter from Kimono Friends, like the main, like the freaking mascot of Kimono Friends in this? What? No. No, 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 no. But yeah, that's, once again, you just never know who's going to be in a fucking anime and such. But yeah, she's really super cute. I mean, I love the fact that she, her biggest goal is because she wants to travel. She's like, I want this for myself. I want that for herself. You know, independence at the end of the day. And I think that's really good because like, yes, even someone at her age and hell even my age, you want that fucking independence because you want all the freaking things for yourself and you want to buy really nice things for yourself. And when you get that, you're like, yes, I feel so accomplished. Yeah, you know, hint, hint, nudge, nudge that time when I bought that PlayStation. <laughs> um, or just anything that, write a passage that you have when you're just like, I got this. I, sp I saved my fucking money and I got this. Like, seriously, her style is just like, mwah, like, uh, but she's just adorable. Now, our, our, our lovely otaku goddess. Okay, so when I saw the clip between earlier today and Saturday, I was like, hmm, I wonder who this girl is voiced by because like, number one, her voice is kind of familiar to me. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard this voice before. Yeah, flash forward all the way to Sweet's Pretty Cure, which she's probably the fucking main character. But the biggest thing is, and I couldn't believe this when I looked this up and I literally found that, like relearned this earlier in the day and I love when, you know, you just relearn it. This chick, not only is this a fucking pretty cute, this <laughs> the fact is, and I should have tweeted this shit too. Well, technically I did. I did. It's on my fucking Twitter. This is fucking uh, freaking Yuko from Kill a Kill. How? And, and especially when she talk like in her when she does like her like a deeper voice and such, you hear her like straight up. I'm like, oh, you no, know I hear it, but like. When she just goes into her, like, <laughs> into certain ways, I'm like, yeah, all I hear is Hibiki. All I hear is the cutest, precious baby, your melody. So I mean, like, oh my god, but yeah, she is adorable as well. Like, literally, she, everybody's gonna be, like, when they probably saw the first episode, was like, oh my god, that's me in a nutshell. Like, yes, oh my god, that is me in a nutshell. And when you get anything, you are just like, oh, like, oh my god. Oh, girl, got her damn fucking VR headset. <laughs> and oh, wow, you know, was just doing what she has to do, the prayer, and, you know, everything that, ha that she has to do in her day, she's just looking at this, she's just like, I just want to play this with this fucking headset. And she stopped her the conversation. <laughs> and I'm going to play. But, um, especially with her saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm avoiding, like, something that happened so many years ago. I'm thinking it's something tragic, like, you know, maybe a death or something that she really regretted. No, it's just because somebody was talking about her ears. I mean, I am, I'm not mad about that, too. I mean, hey, if somebody was talking bad about me, too, I'd be like, yeah, you know what? Maybe it's time for me to just stay in the house and never come out again, you know? But, because, see, like, I hate coming out. I hate going out. Well, I, I've always hated going out. Um, I, I like going out sometimes, but only when it's like for me. <laughs> so that doesn't mean all the time. The only time, like the only times I will really go out to go do something or to go get something is work, of course, even though 
<sighs> I don't like working. You know, you love getting that money, but you don't want to go to work. No! Like, why can't we just have something where we can all just stay home and work from home? But, you know, the job that I work in, I, I can't do that from home. Because people always need to see me. <laughs> ah! It's <laughs> such. But, I, I mean, I'm really excited to see how this duo is going to be. I mean, seriously. Once again, if you would have told me that freaking Matare Ryuko slash Cure freaking Melody and Servo would have been in an anime together once again, I probably would have looked at you like you were freaking nuts. Like, that, that is like the two different types of people that I would have ever, never seen together. That's like, okay, freaking, um... The Hubble Fox, uh, Se Seiko? Seiko-chan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That series. Like, yes. The pe the two who were in that show, looking at their saves, never would have thought that those two would have been in an anime together. Once again, you just, you never know. You never freaking know. That's the same single freaking pretty here, because you never freaking know who the fuck is going to be in that. Once again, you just know how all the saves, like, everybody, you know, in a way, they've all been a fucking pretty here. We just never fucking know. But, like, yeah! I'm excited. I'm really, like, anxious to see, like, if they do, like, really interesting Easter eggs towards, like, both of the series that they have been on, respectively, or just anything in general. I mean, that would be really nice, but, I mean, yeah, first episode, not that bad. Very enjoyable, but I feel like what this is going to do, if we look at, like, the Helpful Fox in a nutshell, or just, like, anything that is similar to this, it's cute in the beginning, and then we're going to have like a turn point so i would say by like episode six or seven where we like all the cutesy stuff it's still going to happen but that's when we get into the really really heavy like ish and that is going to probably hurt i'm not 100 percent sure on that but you know probably you know watch this in like a couple of weeks we'll find out it's bound to happen. Mm -hmm. All this cutesy bootsy shit. Where, yes, I can relate to her. It's all gonna disappear. And we're gonna be like, oh shit. Yeah, that happened. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode one of Otaku Elf. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all next Saturday if I fucking remember. Because, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes I will forget. <laughs> for episode two. Bye guys!